Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. So today we will design this three steps process diagram and I hope you will like it. So please subscribe to our channel and join the membership. So the very first step is to design a gradient looking background. It's pretty easy. We just need two gradient stops and we will follow. Uh, let's pick yellow color scheme this time. And the idea here is to create a vivid and rich and colorful background like this. You can change the direction. Now let's add rounded rectangle, reduce its roundedness. And we need to cut it into half. For that, we will use the merge shapes option to subtract it from a rectangle like this. Draw a rectangle. Select both these shapes and then subtract. Now duplicate, flip it vertically and place it like this. It's pretty easy. Now insert a picture. So I have already selected an image. So you can adjust the offset values. Make sure the image doesn't look stretched. I need to change the color here. So the black and white looks good. Now we have to play with the bottom part. Here you have to do some hard work. Let's first create a gradient here. So I'm thinking here, which color should I pick? Let's pick this one. So the gradient type is radial here. And second color we have used is towards the red color. And then duplicate this layer. Add one more gradient stop. And we will add a flavor of pink. In the middle and for the first and last gradient stop increase the transparency to 100% and you will get an effect like this slightly adjust the transparency for the middle layer as well now again duplicate so this will be the third layer in the middle one we will change the color And let's make it more yellowish and now place it and now you can adjust the transparency now again duplicate and change the color to purple and let's place it here and you have to move the slider and just the transparency to get some nice effects so i'm just doing these things randomly and testing at each step and seeing how does it look if it looks fine then only i proceed further so that's how you have to do now we have four gradient stops We need to kind of adjust here. The blending needs to be perfect. Otherwise, the colors will look out of place. Now duplicate this layer, fill solid color, try yellow fill and increase the transparency and let's see how does it look. I don't think it will look nice. Yep. Change to dark color, try it again. So now it looks fine. Let's adjust the transparency and then duplicate this layer. Change the color to white. Keep transparency at 
then insert a rounded rectangle and draw it like this slightly change its angle and then we will subtract it from the white shape like this and we will get a shape like this place it here increase the transparency to like 80 to 90 percent again duplicate the background layer change the fill to white reduce the transparency to 0 percent again draw around a rectangle slightly change its angle this time change the angle a bit more as compared to last time again subtract and you will get a shape like this increase its transparency and now you can see now select the background layer here and change the gradient fill fill blue gradient blue colors on both the gradient stops and increase the transparency on the first gradient stop and keep it like 0% on the second but on the first keep it 100% and now you can see the shape looks much much better now and slightly adjust the transparency values here as well now let's insert the text part it's pretty easy insert the text i have used questrial font it's on google fonts you can download it from there so it's a title of the information card duplicate it and here you can place the description or any information you want to present be it number or some values icon anything you want to showcase as i always say in all my videos focus on text styling as well make sure it is well aligned so meanwhile if you are watching this video and you if you haven't subscribed then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button that will really help us and support us now insert this rounded rectangle and place it like this and now you can add content in this call to action like explore slide number 15 or discover more learn more anything you want to add it will be linked to an external platform or, a, or an internal slide this is how it will look now we need to add some reflection and depth effects for that you have to duplicate it increase its transparency and send it to back or bring the button to forward anything you can do so this looks really nice so this is how you can create an information card in the presentation and you can create a variety of designs to showcase steps workflows business processes anything any information in the form of image heading subheadings also you can add some beautiful icons as well that will also look good so i have placed a random icon reduce its size and place it here like this i think we can keep it towards the top right like this here it will get much better visibility now select all the items press ctrl plus g 
that will group the items together now you can add some shadow here for shadow you can move these sliders then you can add reflection effect as well increase the blurness reduce the size slightly change the transparency as well and you can see it looks really nice and it has this 3d effect now you can create three or four or five steps process depending upon the slide area and the information you have and just change the text in fact you can change the colors as well background colors that will take much more time if you want to save time keep using the same colors and just change the text and images and calls to action so the steps are similar just change the image and there you go adjust the offset values offset left and right to make sure that the image doesn't look stretched similarly change the image on the third information card so you can be creative here and try different shape styles so this is what i thought you can try different things you can add some circles some you know different shapes like hexagons or something or you can create a new kind of shape by merging few shapes and then you can change the icons so by reusing the components like icons and shapes and backgrounds we can save so much time we don't have to create these items again and again now you have to add some branding here and do some touch-ups and final finishing now let's add some more elements for aesthetics and depth effect in the background like this remove its outline fill white color increase the transparency and send to back duplicate it and place it like this and send to back and I can see it adds more depth in the background you can try different matching and complementary colors now let's add the main text here the text of the the title of the slide so here we are writing three steps process in white let's reduce the size so that everything is in one row duplicate process always try to reuse the components then creating a new component then place the items here make sure everything is aligned now let's do one more thing insert this rounded rectangle this will act as a container change fill to no fill only keep the outline white color slightly adjust the text in the middle of the container and yeah the slide is done you can add branding at the top the brand name or the title or subtitle at the top you can add page number year based on the template of your slide 
so you can try different things so meanwhile if you have liked this design if you are still watching this video so please subscribe to our channel join the membership and you can also share this video this will really help us support us so this is how it looks here is the final output so i hope you have liked this design so please do not forget to download this slide from the g drive link provided in the video description so keep watching our tutorials keep supporting us following us subscribing us and we will see you guys in our next video till then enjoy